Next, in this question, we are asked the eigenvectors of the matrix. And here note, this is very typical matrix where only one entry is non-zero and everything else is just zero. So let's write the eigenvalue equation. And to find eigenvectors of this matrix, we will have to write the characteristic equation of this matrix. And that is determinant of A minus lambda i equals to zero. That gives me determinant of zero minus lambda zero alpha zero zero minus lambda zero 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 minus lambda equals to zero and if i expand this determinant with respect to first column the value of determinant becomes minus lambda into lambda square equals to zero so this gives me lambda cube equals to zero that means lambda equals to zero or if we want to be very precise we can write zero 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 because all three roots of this cubic equation will be zero so all the eigenvalues of this matrix are zero and if you want to find eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals to zero we have our equation a x equals to lambda x that is equals to just zero so if i assume that eigenvector is x1 x2 x3 so i get 0 0 alpha 0 0 0 0 0 0 x1 x2 x3 equals to 0 0 0 this gives me this multiplied by this so i get alpha x3 equals to 0 and other rows just give us 0 equals to 0 and here we are given that alpha is not equals to 0 so this gives us that x3 should be 0 so this system of matrix equations will be satisfied if x3 is 0 and x1 and x2 are any real values so if we look at our answer choices in a x3 is non zero so this cannot be our answer in b x3 is zero and x1 and x2 can be any real values so this is one of our eigenvectors in c x3 is one that is not equals to zero so that cannot be our answer and in d x3 is zero so x1 and x2 can be any real values so d is also a correct answer